In this video, we're going to introduce the notion of polar coordinates. So polar coordinates. So the polar coordinate system is another coordinate system besides the usual Cartesian coordinates with x and y. So let me show you the setup. So we have a point here, and I'm going to draw a line like this. And the endpoint of this line, we're going to call this point r theta. That's a polar coordinate. This here, this horizontal line, this is called the polar axis. Polar axis. And the angle here is theta. And this distance is r. So r, it's not just a distance, it's called a directed distance. And we'll do an example shortly so you see what I mean by directed. So r is a directed distance. And theta is a directed angle. So it, it's an angle, so it does have direction. So directed angle. And it's counterclockwise. So the default is counterclockwise. Let's do some simple examples of plotting points and polar coordinates so you see how exactly uh, this works. So I'll just call it EX for example. Say we had the point um, 3, comma, um, pi over 6. Let's plot this point. So here's one axis and here's our other axis. So the way I do it is, um, and there's different ways to do it, I always travel theta first. So I travel pi over 6, so maybe I'm here, this is pi over 6, and then r is 3, so boom, that's it. That's all you do. So again, you travel theta, so maybe it's there, it's a rough estimate of where pi over 6 is, and then r is 3, and it's positive, so you go out to that point. And if instead we had negative 3 comma pi over 6, again it's the same thing, you first travel theta, so you first go pi over 6, so maybe we're here, there's our pi over 6, but r is negative, so you go the other way, and so that would be your point. So if r is positive, you go up to where the angle ends. If r is negative, you go the other way. Let's do a bunch more until you feel like maybe you get it. How about uh, 2 comma pi over 2? So again, it's r comma theta. So first you travel pi over 2. So when you do that, that's going to put you here at pi over 2, right? Because this angle here is pi over 2 on the unit circle. So there's your pi over 2. And then you go 2. So here you are. So there's your point, And this distance here is 2. Let's do another one. Let's say it was um, negative 2 pi over 2. In this case, you would travel pi over 2. So here we are. Here's pi over 2. But it's negative 2, so you go the other way. So it would be here, and this distance here would be 2. So that would be your polar coordinate down here. Because first you travel pi over 2, and it's negative, so you go the other way. Whereas in this example up here, it was positive, and so you go the same way. Something interesting happens with polar coordinates. Watch this. Say it was 2, 3 pi over 2. So if it's 2, 3 pi over 2, again, you draw your axes. So first you travel 3 pi over 2. That's going to put us down here. And then you go 2, so we're here. So these polar coordinates are actually the same. So negative 2 pi over 2 and 2, 3 pi over 2 give you the same polar coordinate Okay, every time. Let's do another one. Let's try 3 comma pi. So this first says you travel pi, so you would go this way over here like this. And then 3, so here you are, boom, 3. One more. Let's say we had um, negative 3 pi. So first you travel pi, so we're here. But then it's negative 3, so you go the other way, so now we're here. So it's opposite. So if it's positive, you go to where it is. If it's negative, you go the other way. 
I think that's it for this video on plotting coordinates and polar coordinates. In the videos that follow, we'll talk about converting between polar and rectangular and vice versa. That's it.